There's a new author who has a book out who says there's nothing wrong with losing your job, lowering expectations, and realizing that you are just an average schmo. I hate to turn to you after that, Brian. Well, I think you somehow <laughs> enjoy it. That's Ben Stone. That's what he says. He's the author of the new book, Embracing Your Inner Mediocrity, Making Peace with Reality. Uh, Congrat Thanks, congratulations on putting together a very mediocre book. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's and not too good, not too bad. Let's embrace a little bit ourselves, Brian. Loosen up a little bit. Take you want time. me to loosen up my yeah, tie? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, pause. Stop being so perfect. Right. Okay, now, the first indication that your book is about mediocrity is the cover. Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. Check, check out your mugshot there. Um, this, some people would say, is not the most flattering photo that you could take, um, but that's your point. That is exactly my point. I did not want to overachieve my cover. And, okay, so why is it important to not overachieve? Okay, well, first of all, excellence puts us uh, under a lot of stress, and a lot of times it's not even a, a possibility for most people. So you need to set your goal in the middle and be content with where you are. Right, and, and stop striving for goodness sakes, and why have expectations, and why try to be the best. Do you have, a, do you have examples, of, uh, examples of maybe uh, things we should embrace to be mediocre? Yeah. Well, what I've got is four tips that we want to look at. The first one is you want to maintain consistent adequacy. Okay? N okay. And by this I mean... Hit your marks. Okay. You, you don't want to do too much because if you overachieve in the workplace, you're just going to end up making a lot of people mad at you. It's like <laughs> the A-plus student who blows the curve for everybody else. <laughs> This person is not very well liked, so shoot for consistent adequacy and everything will be great. All right, what about perfection is the enemy of good enough? What do you mean by that? Well, like I said, um, there is a dark side to excellence and the pursuit of it. Listen, I've only been in New York for a few hours. It's rough out there. There's a lot of people stressing. Right. If they just concentrate on being content, it's going to be a much healthier way to live. Uh, also, there's always an upside. For example, if things are bad, there's always an upside. That's true. No matter how bad you, things are out there, there's always an upside. Uh, like, for example, if your wife is unattractive. If your wife is unattractive, then she probably won't leave you. Um, if your boss is not very smart, then that's good, because if he was smarter, he might fire you. Um, <laughs> so there's always an upside. You can find it. All right. And mediocre people can accomplish a lot like whom? Well. Let's just look at Joe Biden. Uh, he became vice president of the United States. I challenge anyone. Hopelessly to... mediocre. <laughs> Joe Biden, uh, and you also have Ben Affleck and Janine Garofalo. Yeah, the, two of your favorites. Uh, even, let's look at NASCAR. I don't know if you're a fan. You're a sports guy. The most popular driver out there is Dale Earnhardt Jr. I love him as well. But does he ever win? No. But uh, we love him because he's an average Joe. We love average Joes. Right. We just don't want to admit we're the average So is that the point of the book? Because it is humorous. <laughs> yes, it but is. the serious point of the book is? If you're an overachiever and you want a cheap piece of fun therapy, then this is the book for you. Um, I've been told by several people that it's very liberating. <laughs> So, right. and, and he has and, a mug for us, Brian, that yeah. says that we're mediocre and it's okay. And the largest Got word it. in the book is probably mediocrity. Thank, thank goodness that's over with. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good job. Great thank meeting. You, Congratulations on a, on a very so-so uh, performance. Thank you very much. I was <laughs> shooting for in the middle. You did it. All right, Vince. Take care.